gifts, I, I just ask that we give with open hearts, um, from our heart, and um, that's it. If you're a guest with us this morning, there is no expectation because you're our guest. However, you could, you know that little card you were asked to fill out um, earlier when Bob asked that, you could put that in the collection plate. That would be much appreciated. So, um, would the ushers please come forward. Okay, that's okay. In Jesus' 
Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
something last night about you know children born with the cleft palate and cleft, you know, in different areas of the world, and so like Bolivia, for instance, and South America, and people are too poor, you know, to have their children's mouths um, that corrected, which is really not a very expensive that we might consider not very expensive, but doctors donate their time, you know, to go to do that. So that's present on my mind because we just saw that last night. You know, we just had a um, display of, of what human trafficking is all about, even here in New Hampshire at our awareness festival. So that might be present on our mind. Um, so when I have this moment of silence, whether you say a particular country or continent or a certain social justice issue, but I want to think broader today than our local concerns. We will have a time of silence for our local concerns. They are, of course, always important. But also today, I want us to think a little more globally, which I forgot to put the globe on the table of all things. Of all things, I left. Um, which was going to be part of the children's message until I realized I didn't have the globe there. <laughs> but um, I would like us just to have that time. And whether you say things in your heart or you say them out loud, um, let us think of our brothers and sisters around the world this day. Let us pray. Lord, we do lift up healing for the nations. There is so much disparity. There is so much poorness and hunger still in the 21st century. Illnesses and, and, and things that we can't even comprehend. People that reside in shacks that are unsafe. People that need to walk for their water. Children that don't get enough food in this day and age. Sometimes, Lord, we get so caught up in our own day-to-day -day life. And we're so busy with our lists and our phone calls and emails and texts and driving here and there. Lord, that we forget to stop and pause. And think of how other people are living. So Lord, we do take this moment to lift up people and places, including our own nation, around the world. We bring our prayers to you. Injustice and oppression. Hunger. People in the Native American reservations in the Southwest who don't have enough water. It's very, very short for the people who live there. Mental and emotional illness. People who are not allowed to practice their religion. Poverty. The volcano in La Palma, Spain. People with cancer and other diseases. Orphans. Poverty. The people of Haiti who are still need to recuperate from a terrible earthquake and the assassination of their president. Lack of accountability. Loneliness. <clears throat> People that get lured into get lured into being trapped. Addiction. 
the incarcerated, not only here, but around the world, it looks very different in other places. Those under threat of war. Lord, we lift all this to you on this World Communion Sunday. It is this one special Sunday of the year that we purposefully, in worship, think outside our own locale. We pray, Lord, I pray that we can be open to praying for these injustices that we've just heard. And maybe you will lead us to do more than just pray. I, I ask that you guide us in what we can do as individuals and as a community of faith. Guide us, we pray. Amen. Amen.